Hello guys, what is up? Backbro Jack here, back for day four of Mod Mayhem, where I'll be trying to upload a mod showcase every single day for the next week to celebrate hitting 40,000 subscribers. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm in creative mode, but you're just gonna stay here. I'm gonna go into the mod showcase house. You're just gonna stay right out there, but okay. Oh my gosh, that was scary. But yeah, guys, uh, here we are in the mod showcase house back for day four of Mod Mayhem. And I'm sorry, guys, I haven't been keeping uh, faithful to my word of trying to upload a mod showcase every single day. This past week has literally been crazy for me. I know it's only Wednesday, but I just had so much schoolwork and also basketball tryouts have started up. So I've just been so busy and it's been such a stressful week for me. It's been like a transition week because I'm trying to get used to having basketball and I'm also uh, dealing with a bunch of home homework and schoolwork and projects this week like I just got loaded with crap and I'm just struggling to just keep up on that mine as well I am just trying to upload videos for you guys so yeah it's just been really hard for me and um I just wanted to say that I apologize for that I've been wanting to upload every single day this week but I just have not gotten the chance so sorry for not uploading for a few days guys uh but I should be back on schedule on this Friday uh hopefully tomorrow I can get out a video of the subscriber meetup because I really do have a lot of homework tomorrow as well so i'm hoping that i can get that out because i'm definitely not going to have any time to record a new video but yeah i did have a little bit of time tonight so i'm hoping that this all goes well and i can still get done my homework i have like a project to do and i also have basketball practice or trials or whatever so yeah i'm just trying to juggle a whole bunch of different things right now but anyway here we have franklin and pat who just decided to fly into the anvil okay pat you are a special little boy you are just special all right looks like today we have the deconstruction table mod so we have the deconstruction table right here and we also have franklin's Question of the day. We haven't had one of these in a few days. Let's see. What is your favorite Minecraft mod pack? That's what our buddy Joey wants to know. So my favorite mod pack is probably the Jack Pack, honestly, because I got to pick out my most favorite mods me and CJ did. And that was honestly just a whole great experience. You guys followed along with that, and it was just really fun in general. But another mod pack that I am looking into is Crazy Craft. I'm not entirely sure if I want to have Jack Pack Season 2 be of Crazy Craft. I mean, if you guys would like that, make sure to leave a comment down below. But yeah, I don't really even know. Um, if I don't do that or if you guys don't like that, then I will definitely be sure to just pick a whole bunch of mods that I've reviewed in the past and then throw them into a uh, mod pack and call it Jack Pack Mod Survival Season 2, which uh, like I did for the first season. So yeah, anyway, out here we have the deconstruction table. So let's see. What we have over here, let me show you the craft recipe real quick. And also, guys, it would be amazing if we can hit at least 200 likes. I know that I've been a little bit inactive lately. But, uh, yeah, hopefully there are a lot of you guys still follow me. And hopefully we can hit that 200 like mark. But anyway, to craft the deconstruction table, you are going to need wooden planks uh, on the bottom. You're going to need a crafting table, two iron ingots, and a diamond. And uh, this kind of lives up to its name. It allows you to basically uncraft things. So say uh, I have some different things in here that I'm going to be showing you how you can actually uncraft them. So let me show you with mushroom stew. I just kind of pick some things that I thought would be kind of useful. So mushroom stew, for example, uh, say that you have a mushroom cow or a mushroom cow. I don't even know how to say it. And you just kind of farm this mushroom stew off of them all you have to do is literally just put that in there and then you could get a bunch of mushrooms from him so yeah you can just put it in the deconstruction table it doesn't cost anything which is awesome i was thinking that it might actually cost stuff but it doesn't so all you really have to do is just put it in the deconstruction table and then all you have to do is click on one of the items that it will give you and then bam everything plops right into your inventory so you have the bowl and also the mushroom so you can literally just keep going up to mushrooms and just getting mushrooms off them if you wanted mushrooms for something so yeah that is just one of the examples that I had for you. Uh, there are a few more like a uh, beacon and you can actually deconstruct the deconstruction table. It's kind of like inception. So if you come over here, put in the beacon, this will give us some obsidian and a nether star. And we can also put in the deconstruction table, which will literally just give us what we put in to craft it. So yeah, that's just kind of neat. So I have some more examples. Uh, here we have a boat. I know that a lot of people uh, crash their boats to get like sticks and stuff and like hunger games. But yeah, I just thought this was a neat idea because you can literally just put this right back in here and get a lot of wood planks, which you can use to get 
get uh, even more sticks than I believe you would if you just crash the boat. Now we also have bone meal. Now it kind of works a little weird. I don't know if you guys know with bone meal, you actually need uh, one bone will give you three bone meal. So if I try to put in one in here, it won't give me anything. If I put in two, still nothing. But once I put in the amount that it actually needs to be crafted, so the bone, once you put it in a craft table, it will give you three bone meal. And to get back what you actually put in, you are going to need to put the three bone meal that you got back into the deconstruction table, and then you will get back your bones. So that's kind of how it works. Uh, there is no cheating with this system. It's pretty much just a basic process of uh, whatever you put into the crafting recipe, that's what you're going to get out in the deconstruction table. So yeah, there we have a bone, and we also have sticks. Uh, it's kind of the same idea with these sticks. If I put in one, it won't give you anything, but once I put in two, it will give you the oak wood plank, because that's how you actually craft it in the first place. And then also, we have uh, rails. Now, this is probably the most useful thing that I've thought of that you can use this for. So say you find an abandoned mine shaft, and you just find a whole crap ton of rails down there, and you can just literally just farm these things for iron. It is just awesome so with the deconstruction table. So once I put uh, some in here, now it's kind of weird. I really don't know how this works. See, once I put in three, I get one iron back, but as you, you guys probably know, this isn't the whole entire craft recipe, so once I keep putting in more, it will slowly build up the craft recipe that it takes to get rails, so I really don't know what the system behind this is, like how it actually qualifies, uh, how it gives you like an extra item, but yeah, the more that you put in, the more the craft recipe actually shows up. And then once I put in the 16 rails that you actually get from using this craft recipe, you will get all your six iron back and it sticks back. So yeah, you can really get a lot of iron off this. And why is this creeper just stalking me? Jeez, go away, buddy. All right, so yeah, that is everything in here. These are just some uh, things that you cannot actually craft in game. So anything that is uncraftable in vanilla Minecraft, you cannot put in the deconstruction table. So I like a uh, saplings and flowers and diamond uh, horse armor are not craftable in game so that's why they will not work in the deconstruction table but anyway if you go in here i also have some other examples uh here we have a diamond sword now i wanted to test out how it works with actual damage things so here we have the diamond sword now if i put this one in it will just give me the sticks and the two diamonds but uh if i go back here and put in this light slightly damaged diamond sword it will only give me one stick and one diamond if you're gonna get what you want back, uh, it's probably better just to put it in an anvil to get the full amount of uh, diamond back and try and reuse your diamond sword or just craft an entirely new one because it's not really worth the deconstruction table if you've already used up uh, a sword of anything. So yeah, that is the swords. Here we also have anvil. So I have a regular anvil and a very damaged anvil. And I was actually kind of surprised at this. The anvil does work regularly, just as I thought. But then the very damaged anvil, I thought it might give me just a couple iron back, but it actually doesn't give you anything back. So yeah, that is kind of neat. I was expecting it at least to give me some materials back. So we also have a bow and arrow. So there is a, a cool thing with this. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's with the book on the bottom. So if you put the book in there and then you also put the bow in here, this bow actually has unbreaking three and power three so as you can see it gives me back the recipe for the bow and once i click on it it will also give me back one of the enchantments that were on it i'm not entirely sure how it chooses the enchantment it might just be the best one on there like the highest level as you can see this was unbreaking three uh that might be it or i really don't know how it chooses it but it does give you one of the enchantments back which is kind of neat so if you want to get uh, an enchantment off of an item this is a neat way to do it. So yeah, we can put this stuff back in there. And then uh, the one last example I have is with chest plates. So here we have an iron chest plate. This one is just slightly damaged. Now this one will only give me back, uh, I believe this is seven iron rather than the extra eighth one right there. Just because it literally only took one damage. I believe I blew up a creeper to get it to be like this. So yeah, if I click on that, it only give me the seven iron back. But this one I had to blow up a crap ton of creepers. I wish you guys could have saw. I literally just sat there for like 20 minutes just trying to, to blow up creepers and then yeah so here we have a golden chest plate this one is almost halfway damaged and as you can see the more damaged uh, an item gets it will actually lower the amount of materials that you get back so there I only got five back rather than the full eight but yeah, guys, that will have to do it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, this was kind of a tinier mod than I normally like to do because I'm kind of short on time. But yeah, nonetheless, I thought it was one of those good tiny mods. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy. Hopefully, I will be back on Friday to resume Mod Mayhem and hopefully I will be able to finish up. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. My name is Beckbro Jack. That creeper is stalking me. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.